Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Seth and the rest of our coaching team. And we're gonna go over this week's Fast and Furious Fat Furnace workout with you. So for this workout, we're gonna have six stations, one exercise per station. You're gonna have 15 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rotate. You're gonna be going around the room four times and then we will switch these exercises up and we'll do four more rounds at those six stations. You ready, Seth? Ready. Okay, so station number one, on those ropes, we'll start with our rope stance. So use those hands, sit that foot down, slamming that rope down as hard as you can. Focus on really beating the heck out of that floor, drive up through those hips, sending that butt back every single time. Great job, Seth. From there, we're coming up to our suspension trainers, where Coach KK is gonna be demonstrating our rows here. Tuck those ribs, squeeze those glutes, we're moving plank position, and then pulling yourself up by squeezing those shoulder blades, keeping those shoulders down and away from the ears. Also notice how she's on her heels here with her toes pulled up so she can pivot there as well. To make this heavier, you step further in. To make it lighter, you can put one foot back or step back with both feet. Great job, KK. Okay. From there, we're coming out to the blue floor. Our coach Frank's demonstrating our sled push. So you're just pushing this sled down and back as quickly as you can in that 15 seconds. When you get down to this end, you're pushing it right back down. When you get down to that end, you're pushing it right back down. You're pushing, 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 pushing the whole time, Frank. Three more laps, Frank, and we're moving on. Okay. Just kidding. Now, wherever you're at when that 15 seconds is up, just leave the sled right there. The next person will find it and use it from there. From there, we're rotating out to our kettlebells. Coach Reese demonstrating our kettlebell iso squat curl. So getting that low squat, grab those handles and crush those handles as you squeeze those biceps, pulling that dumbbell, or excuse me, that kettlebell right up to your chest, just under your chin. If you need to, you can come out of that squat for a second and go back down when you're ready. Great job, great. From there, we're heading over to our uh, skiers. We have Coach Tia here. Remember, the skiers is about power, not speed. So reach high and pull hard. Deep breath in on the way up. Push that air out as you come back. Up to those toes on the way up. Sit back onto those heels, pushing that butt back, pulling those handles down as hard as you can on every stroke. Great job, Tia. And from there, we're over to the dumbbells of Coach Frank, and he's gonna be demonstrating our dumbbell pivot press. So two dumbbells at your shoulders, and notice how as he pivots, as he turns to his right side, he's pivoting through that left leg, squeezing that glute. Same thing to the other side here, using that momentum to press up. And because it's Fast and Furious Day, you're using lighter weights and going faster on this one as you're working. Great job, Frank. So that's the first half. Now, in the second half, we're gonna be switching up some of these exercises, and we'll have four more rounds. You have about two and a half minutes in between these halves to get that break in, get your breath, get ready to wreck shop in the second half. Okay, you ready, Coach Seth? Ready. Session number one, second half. Rope waves now, chest up, butt low. Get those hands going as quickly as you can. Focus on those fast hands on those waves the entire 15 seconds. Nice job, Seth. From there, we're heading back over to our suspension trainers. Um, Coach, what's her name's over here? <laughs> Chest press from here, knuckles turned down, squeeze those shoulder blades, pushing that air out to make it heavier. You step a little further in to make it lighter. You can step one foot or both feet out. And if you really want to challenge yourself here, you can turn around, getting under that anchor point, nice and controlled on the way down. This one's challenging, so take your time and really focus on doing it well. Nice job, KK. Now, the second half, the sled station is going to be the same. So you're pushing that sled for eight rounds today. From there, we're coming back over to our kettlebells, and we'll be doing our iso squat halo. So Coach Marie's down in that isometric squat here, and then she's got that kettlebell upside down to begin with, taking it around her head as if she could rest it on her shoulders, and then points to really opening up through those shoulders, walling up those abs, nice and tight, staying as low as you can. Of course, if you need to, you come up out of that squat, go back down when you can. Great job, Marie. From there, we're coming back over to Coach Tia, and she's gonna be demonstrating our drop squat. So kick those feet apart, reach for the floor, come back up and bring those feet together. This is a fast-paced one, so we want fast feet, fast feet, fast. You can't even see her legs, you know why? <laughs> because they're camouflaged. Okay, great job, Tia. From there, we're over to our last station, last exercise today. It's our power curls. So we got those dumbbells at our sides. We're gonna use those hips driving up out of that quarter squat, getting those dumbbells right to your shoulders and then sitting back. So sit that butt back and then squeeze those glutes and drive up to catch those dumbbells at your shoulders. Okay, that's our Fast and Furious workout for this week. Great job, everybody. What? <laughs>